are we blessed but i tell you this you know you are valuable by who pursues you if nobody is pursuing you it's a report card that you are not valuable all men seek for you listen there are certain skills that when you have only the rich will look for you there are certain skills when you have only the poor will look for you there are certain skills when you have only the educated will look for you there are skills that when you have only your tribesmen will look for you but there are skills when you have all men will look for you all men will look for you that was a testimony of jesus all men seek for thee all men all men all nations all territories seek for thee make up your mind that you will be valuable the kingdom operates on a reward system you know that and it is it is fraud to expect rewards when you are not valuable this is true we must contend to be valuable here is where our precious superstitious africa will continually be cheated we have this understanding you know africa were a wonderful place uh, but we're also a very superstitious place we believe that things can fabricate themselves for years we have been claiming bill gates wealth for years we have been claiming the wealth of um, what's his name again who all these great men until now they are getting more blessed whereas many people are getting frustrated because god is not a fool he designed in this system that rewards follow value many people look at preachers and say why these people are just blessed for doing nothing <laughs> let me tell you why preachers are blessed once and for all so that we'll just clear the air over this <laughs> preachers are blessed because they are communicators of value the value may be spiritual in context but it is real value are we together number one they connect people to faith a relationship that is superior to any on the earth number two they help to shape the mindset and the understanding of the people that makes for victory that's real value number three there are spiritual conduits that communicate the possibilities of god a miracle a sign and a wonder cannot be bought in a bank cannot be bought in a market whoever aligns with god to receive that grace and communicate the same is valuable are we together seest thou a man diligent in his business the bible gives you an assurance that you will stand before men before kings and you will not stand before mean men let me show you two scriptures very quickly and then we'll rush i apologize i would not take so much of the time uh, let's just work with what we have ready exodus chapter 4 please let's look at verse 2 and verse 17 would you be a bit patient thank you exodus chapter 4 and the lord said unto him what is in your hand and he said what let's go to verse 17 for time's sake it says you shall take this rod in your hand and with it you will do signs when you stand before pharaoh you are not allowed to speak too much let the rod keep doing the speaking there must be something you carry that will continue speaking when your mouth is shut are we together one of the principles of dominion is you must bet something out of you that immortalizes your impact there must be a product or something that comes out of you that keeps speaking even when you are silent bill gates is in your home zuckerberg is in your home you drive him he comes back you bring him back by yourself that's dominion are we together you drive coca-cola and cause them and cause them and in three days they are back they don't fight you when you drive them because they understand the addictive power of their influence over you i hope you understand what i'm saying and I hope you understand I'm not being sarcastic. You get the idea? Praise the Lord. Listen, say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to be valuable. 
I obtain, I obtain grace to be exceptional. exceptional. Lagos is a good land, but the increase only looks for men of value. When you are valuable, listen, you know you are valuable when no, no amount becomes too much to reward you. At that point, you are priceless. Look at this. If this handkerchief is, say, a thousand naira, please hold it. No matter how wealthy you are, you will not pay a million for this ordinarily. Are we together? Why? Because you perceive that although it is valuable, it is not that valuable. Now, if you are this handkerchief in my example, people can give you a thousand naira, but when you demand for a million naira, they think it's unfair. I told you yesterday, everybody is a giver. Truly. Can you rise to a level of value that makes no price becomes unfair? Uh, that makes for no price to become unfair on you? That someone can look at you today and still give you a property worth millions and, and say, please, let it be a privilege for me to bless you because you are that valuable. I made up my mind as a person that in the name of the Lord, I would not just be a preacher, but I would be valuable. That I would never have encounter with anyone. And then you say, oh, it's nice to meet you. Go away. No. No. It's a vow and a covenant that I made with myself. So it calls for study. It calls to expand your understanding. As a preacher, you talk to all kinds of people. If you're a medical doctor, the limit of your profession is just around the hospital and all of this. But as a man of God, you're talking with diplomats, you're talking with business people, you're talking with politicians. You must sustain the intelligence that communicates God to their sphere. It is not an impartation. It is knowledge that is acquired. It's truth that is bought. This is what will make you valuable. And I tell you the truth, anybody, any preacher, anyone in ministry who is not ready to be valuable on this wise must be ready for empty pews. Your pastor is vast, intelligent, skilled. That's why you come here. That's why you love him. That's why no amount you sow into his life becomes a regret. You don't go back saying, I would have given, ah, was it a wise choice? You see, when you regret it's not because you are not a giver you compare what you gave versus <laughs> hallelujah in the name of jesus may we sustain the grace to be valuable Amen. listen there are many of us we need to fold many complimentary cards respectfully speaking shelve them and go back to do our homework there's no need going around and saying, look, I'm a great musician. You've not seen anointing till you invite me. If you have to market yourself on that wise, it's already a sign that you must go back and say, God, you called me. This, this, you called me. Place something both on my mouth, my lips. It says my heart is indicting a good matter. Yeah, I speak of excellent things. Then it says my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Hallelujah every good thing runs away from me lord there is a dimension of value i need to step into praise the lord i can cook who eats your food you see if kings i, I hope you don't find this insulting i'm just stretching us now listen let me tell you this please listen hallelujah are we together until kings look for you you are not there the real wealth and honor is in the palace not outside so you can start from shushan like hadassah but don't end there you can even come close to the gate like mordecai but don't remain there your real honor happens in the palace you have a business and kings have not turned their attention. You are not valuable enough. Keep pressing. While they are clapping for you, let them do the clapping while you do the growing. You will grow to a point when you feed kings, you will eat from the treasury of kings. It is very easy to rise when we contend to be exceptional. 
It was Dr. Murdoch that said, your similarity creates your comfort, but it's your difference that creates your rewards. Birds of the same feather flop together, but when they are hungry, they flop together in unity when they move. But when they are hungry, every one of them, I mean, geography tells us they have skills. They have different skills to catch prey. When you become like everyone else, you become easily replaceable. Let me define what it means. You see, to be valuable means to be given an impression that you are not easily replaceable. It is true that no man is indispensable, but becomes so difficult to replace that even after complaining, they'll say, well, there's nothing we can do. We will still have to make do with you. Please make up your mind that I will be valuable make up your mind i will be valuable that the day i have an interaction with my destiny helper i will not talk to him twice once is enough hallelujah the gift of a man let's do it one more time makes room for him this is lagos this is your real estate company this is your business this is ministry there is no space for you and it has nothing to do with sentiments but when god anoints you and you work on your skill virtue exceptional christ-like virtue backed up by intelligence that is beyond argument you bring these twofold dimensions and life will shift and give you your space it will not be an issue of tribalism it will not be an issue of gender there are not too many valuable people on earth there are many human beings but there are not too many valuable people on earth. Nobody likes me. You may be right, but why should they like you? Forget about the liking part. Why should they like you? It's an honest question you must ask. Why should, because it's fraud. When, if you follow me, how many of you, watch this, how many of you have climbed a bike or Uber or whatever, and then you, well, not Uber, they, they, they use the GPS system, but just a bike man, and he tells you he's taking you somewhere, he tells you he knows the place, and later on, he, he will pass the place and say, sorry, uh, you, are you new in Lagos? He said, well, you know how this thing is, I'm, I'm not, uh, where did you even say again? You see, the person was bold enough to start going, and look at the speed he was moving around, <laughs> and then you are just loitering around town your time is going and then you ask him and then he will forcefully admit that i'm not exact let's help ourselves now you don't follow such a person hallelujah one of the levels of leadership that they teach in business is leadership by results that people not only follow you because you are skilled and all of that people need to see real results and let me tell you, don't downplay the place of results. Nobody will follow anybody who doesn't have results. They may love you. They may pray for you. But they will not follow you. Follow me and I will make you. Follow me. I dare you. Follow me and I will make you. Hallelujah. 